Oh, now I'm caught in the lecky. Oh, he's pushed it away, Jim. What are you doing? Geez, he knows what the net looks like, this bloke. cold um winter's here so let's see if we can get some of these bigger barrows to bite starting to stack up now which would be good huddling for warmth i'd say it's far out it is cold <sighs> and i forgot socks fuck it well here we go let that sink to the bottom all right away we go there you go, you see that belly of the line there. Few little lops. Like I said, I'm sure everyone's got their own style of dragging a lure back to the boat, so I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs. I'm not going to teach you what works, because it might not work for you on the day. It's the best part about fishing, and the hardest part is trying to figure out what's going to trigger a bite. Couple of nice bow getting through there, just under the boat. Nice, let's see if we can get them to tick over. As you can see, the water temperature is just under 20 degrees. So, let's see if we can get one of them to tick. One of them to eat. How good is that going to be? Come on, you bastards. Come on. Oh, not a bad way to start, probably third or fourth cast. What have we got here? Oh, that's a drag. Oh, yeah. Not a bad school size one to start the morning. Yeah, Ripper. Bonza. We'll get the net ready for that, I think. And just to be safe, because oh boy. Because I'm by myself, if it can go wrong. Don't go under the boat. Please don't go under the boat, mate. Go on, putting some bend in this rod. There we go. Yeah, nice. Sweet as, in we go. Just like that. Not bad at all, ladies and gents. Have a look at that. I'm the, I'm the old faithful. Oh, oh, that's lucky. I'll get that out of the way. Yeah. There you go. The North Queensland winter barrow Monday. Probably not too bad. Probably oh, 68, 70. We'll get him on the lie detector and we'll have a measure, but. Yeah, just ate the prawn, which was, uh, you know, probably the first half a dozen casts or so. So, pretty, pretty stoked with that. We'll see if we can tick a few more of these bad boys over. We'll get a few stills of this guy and we'll let him go. How mad's that? Let this guy go, get him on his way, get him back into this nice warm water because it is bloody freezing out here. <sighs> oh, and I forgot me socks. <laughs> forgot me warm socks. There you go. Oh, so this is the setup for one of them Samaki shrimps. That fish has just chewed that a little bit. This is a 7 0, 7 0 quarter ounce jig head. Um, and I've just taken the, the belly hook out, or the hook that came with it, taken that out, and 
and um, rigged it through there. I don't know if you can hear that. I've actually put that rattle, because that rattle, that glass rattle sits up in here. So, so you can see there in the light, that's where in that cavity there, that's where the, the lead of the hook of your jig head's gonna go. So it's normally pushing that glass rattle out of the way, which puts a bulge in this plastic. So what I do is I get the hook and I put a hole in the tail. And if you can see that there, that's the uh, glass rattle. All right. It's actually come out a little bit there, but I'll just wedge it all the way in, just straight through the center there. I pre-pierce that hole with the hook I'm using, just because it's easy. And I'll just push that, push that in, just like that. Oh, and there you have it. So, that tail's flicking around. Still has a little bit of rattle. It's easy enough to come out. If it falls out, it falls out. But it's just a way of utilizing what you get given in the packet, I guess. We'll run the open hook, 7-0, just to get a lot of purchase, because there might be a couple of big fish around. And um, yeah, this is it, pretty much. Just on a little bait caster, 20 pound, it's a Dobbins Sierra Series 683 rod, or 10 to 17 pound, medium to heavy, fast action. I just like to yeah, cast it out, slow, slow burn it back in with a few little hops. Everyone's got their own style of walking, so let's get it. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, little one. Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, look at him go. Shake it off, buddy. Yeah, he's whacked that one. Yeah, mad jumbo. I'm just gonna lead at him, this guy. If I can. There we go. Yeah. I said, not a bad one. Oh, easy, bro, easy. You see what they do to that? That's unreal. Beautiful fish in the sunlight there. Maybe just 55. Beautiful fish. Just saw a croc. I'll swim by, so we won't um, won't get my hand too close. So we're just flicking back. And away he goes. Oh, oh. oh Jesus. Oh, that one hit hard. I don't know how big it is, but... Oh, yeah, another... Another school size one. Gee, bit hard, that one. Definitely a bit hard. Oh! As I said, there's a few crocs around here, so I might just um, put the dilly net in. Oh, in he comes. oh easy, Jim. Easy. Oh, I'm rolling that lure around. I don't like that. Oh, now I'm caught in the alecky. Oh, he's pushed it away, Jim. What are you doing? Geez, he knows what the net looks like, this bloke. There we go. Yeah, happy days. In the tub. There you go. Another little one. Perfect, look at that one. Geez, they're nice healthy fish, these ones. Got ourselves another little one here. Probably mid 60s. Good size schooling fish, that. Really good size. Wind's picking up, so she's pretty breezy today, probably about 15 knots. Water temp's still under 20. Had a few touches, but um, so we'll get a few picks and let this guy go. Perfect. Close at the bottom. It's only a very light jig head. Give that plastic as much action possible but I'm on this at the moment just the slow rolling of the plastics getting caught up on the bottom there slow rolling of the plastic seems to be quite effective just 
heart rate's enough just to entoss him. To give it a whack. Even if it is out of boredom. Oh, oh, he Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, he's around the boat. Oh, no. Oh, far out. Man, he hit that hard. What do we got here, a little rat? Oh, Jesus. I thought I was going to be in all sorts. He's not too bad. Oh, yeah, sweet. A little Lira Kanji. Oh, Lira Kanji paddle tail, five inch. How good's that? Get rid of that, Jazz. Yeah, nice. Saw them there on the hummingbird. Uh, just probably oh, three or four of them sitting around this stick, so just thought we'd chuck on a little five inch plaque there. That's only a quarter, quarter ounce jig head with, I'm pretty sure it's a six o. Mad little plaquies, these ones. Pretty good, pretty tough as well. And uh, yeah, proofs on the pudding. We'll get a few stills of this guy and um, yeah, we'll let him go and see if we can smack another one or two. Starting to warm up a little bit, which is good. <laughs> My jingo, it was cold before. Oh, it's been a while between drinks here. Motor. I see you've absolutely eaten that. Um, hmm. Yeah, right. So, we might just. It's only a little tacker, but because he's eaten that lure, I've only got a 40 pound leader on. I don't want to risk lipping him in, and I'm not wanting to reach in because there's a few crocodiles around here. Get that way. There we go. Done and done. There you go. All the way down there. See why I didn't really want to. Yeah, just on the edge there. Look at this. Oh. Sweet as. Away you go. Man, I've got to trim that moustache. Bloody hell. Getting fuzzy, getting scraggly. Right at the length where you get bloody egg yolk caught in it. It stinks all day. Well, there you go. Wasn't too bad of a session this morning. Um, we're gonna get out of it, it's just after lunch, so I'm uh, gonna beat the tide out. And um, yeah, got a few fish, about half a dozen or so, and a few other species that didn't make, make it onto the telly. Beat's working, so, which is what I was probably supposed to be doing today. Don't tell the boss. I'll air this on the weekend, so. They're not to know. So, but you know what to do. Like and subscribe and do all that kind of jazz. And um, yeah, gonna pump out a few more videos. A uh, bit more top water action, a bit more frogging and see if we can't bang a big one. Or the goal is gonna be a big barrel on frog. So, stick around.